Hey, what's up, guys? Just kind of experimenting here in the music area. And I kind of wanted to, for myself, really, answer the question, how much headroom does Ableton have? Uh, there's a lot of, like, forum posts and stuff like that online. Um, and generally, they say it's, like, all, uh, you know, theoretical. So what I did is I figured it out, kind of, in my own theory and the headroom is 245 decibels that's 245 decibels above zero where you're supposed to be right so let's see how i did this so i have uh, a sine wave so we're, we're detecting uh how much the headroom is by when a sine wave will clip right and apparently it takes a lot uh from what i've seen so you have a sine wave which is uh set at zero so it's this, you know, at zero. I'll turn that down a little bit. That's kind of bugging me. We don't really need to listen to it. All right, so we have our sine wave. So what I did, because I'm crazy, is I set up a series of um, gain, uh, well, utilities, and I've gained uh, each of them. Uh, until in for every uh, uh, unit uh, I've put in here, I've put a respectable one uh, to coincide to reduce the volume. So we have something that doesn't, you know, it doesn't blow our ears up. So with all of it on like that, we have was that two hundred and forty-five decibels of gain uh, all around there, yeah, across the board, and then we're reducing. Uh, equally and then we have our little master knob here so it starts at zero and we'll take a listen to it here All right now we have a square wave now it is clipped oh my goodness that's so bad so that was a sine wave now it's clipped so we've kind of discovered uh, within Ableton uh, that our room is <laughs> 240 decibels uh we can kind of figure out where it is if i move it here let's see yeah, it's kind of finicky so more or less uh around this area we start to get uh our uh clippage going on and uh yeah that's with uh ableton plugins uh, i might try a few popular um brands of plugins to see how hot of a signal they can handle um so obviously i'd put it like right in the middle here and just see what happens uh this is kind of compared to the tdm uh plugins how they would clip at like negative 3 db uh, these days we have a lot more to get away with obviously you wouldn't want to be clipping in the master i'm just saying uh, we don't really have to worry too much about uh, headroom as much as we do uh, assuming the plugins uh, are capable of working uh, really hard in the range of i don't know 100 decibels Maybe 200, I'd see them break down. Who knows? We'll never know for sure. Well, I guess I could figure it out. And I guess there are some people out there. But yeah, the headroom in Ableton is pretty massive. That 32-bit floating point stuff is pretty cool. Anyway, I thought, well, it interests me. So I hope it interests you. All right, take care.